Today we're changing the cabin air filter on my 2005 Honda Element and this is exactly why. It's been a few years since I've changed mine. Admittedly, I should have done this a long time ago. Uh, the process is super simple. You don't need any tools, but you will need one of these and I'll leave the link down below in the description. I think these are like $15, but as you can see, you're breathing in all of this nasty stuff if you haven't changed your air filter in a while. Also, if you notice that you don't have a lot of heat or a lot of cooling from your system, it might be because this is clogged. So we're gonna change it out real quick. We're gonna show you step-by-step step on how to do it. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to uninstall this first. So if you look on the inside right here, there's a little black clip, right? So we're gonna come onto the outside and we're gonna push in hard and that little clip is gonna pop right out just like this. You push and then you just pull this little clip out. Where is it? There it is. So that's what that looks like right here. All right guys, after you remove the glove box, then right here, this is your cabin filter and you're gonna see this little tab here. So you're gonna push that tab in and then that's gonna remove and it's gonna expose the cabin filter. And there's two of them in there. And mine has been a few years since we've taken it out. So it's gonna be pretty gross, guaranteed. Okay, so we're gonna pull this little black tab and it's gonna pull straight out. And we're gonna take a look at this thing. Oh my God, it's so gross. Look at that. That is nasty. Oh my that is really nasty, dude. Yeah, something was living there for sure. That is extremely nasty. Don't be like me and wait many, many years to change this out, guys. That is really gross. You're breathing all that in. Because my uh, filter is so clogged and dirty, there's a bunch of like leaves like inside. So basically you wanna go in there and pull out all of the leaves and dirt and grime as best as you can. And then after you've taken everything out, what you wanna do is turn the car on. We're gonna turn the car on, or just to put it on like this, you wanna turn it all the way on. And then you're gonna turn the blower on to maximum. And it's gonna blow out anything that's in there. You can hear that, there's more leaves in there. But make sure you don't stick your hand in there while it's on because you can hurt your hand. All right guys, so this is important here. So first you remove the old air filter from this little plastic container and then you put the new one in, and the new one has to be installed where the airflow is pointing down. So I'm gonna slap that in there, and then we'll do the same on this side here. Now the one with the little knob on the left is gonna go in first. I'm gonna slide that back in just like a VHS tape for all the old crew out there. So we'll just slide it in like so, and then you're gonna push it over towards the right. Then we get the second one. Take that, same thing. Just line it up. And we'll push it in. And then before you close up the glove box, you wanna make sure to install this little piece here. So it's gonna go into that little slot and you're gonna push it and clip it into place just like that. And to reinstall it, it's the same, but in reverse. So we're gonna take this little round end, we're gonna push it in like this, right? And we're gonna kind of close it halfway. Yeah, you push it in hard and we close it halfway. And then we're just gonna push this in from the inside like that. And then we do it on the same on the other side. So you lift it slightly, slide this little black piece in with the round end first. Might take a little finagling, but once you find it, you push in hard and there you go.